Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. This is general so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check your other placements. What's going on with Scorpio when it comes to love? What is coming up for Scorpio in love? Oh, someone has regrets here. Fear, what is going on with this energy? Regrets and fear, okay. This could be someone you dealt with who is regretting their actions. I don't know what I'm getting from fear just yet. Let me see. <laughs> Mystery. Spiritual awakening, okay. Mystery card always gives me the vibe of Scorpio, but also the vibe of someone watching you. So, I feel like there's someone who is watching you, regretting their actions and fearful that you're going to move on or fearful that they don't have a chance with you anymore or that they're losing, I'm hearing they're losing their chance or time, too much time is passing, like they're waiting too long to make a move. What do we have for Scorpio? Twin flames. Okay. Scorpio, Scorpio. Stop looking in the rear view mirror. Some of you may have a connection coming to you. A connection trying to come in. You see, yeah, new love. A connection trying to come in, but some of you are thinking about the past person or focusing on them or wondering how they feel or what they're, um, if, what they're doing. Not all of you, but I feel like this energy could be blocking new love, like you're being advised to stop looking in the past because there could be a really strong connection trying to get in, trying to get towards you, okay? Me and the family, for some reason this gives me the energy that this new love could be a part of your soul family. I've never gotten that message from this card before, so I feel like it's definitely... And I just saw two, two, two on the clock. Oh my gosh. Okay, that, that confirms it. This person, whoever is coming into your life, if you are single, is a part of your soul family. It was meant to be. You are meant to meet this person. So let's see what's going on. Let's look at the person you're thinking about currently and then your love spread in the overall love spread, okay? What's going on with Scorpio and the person that they're thinking about currently? What is coming up for the two? Why the energy is here? Hmm. Someone, this person is trying to like, this is the energy of someone who has, like they wish, how do I put it? They have plans with you. They see themselves with you, they like envision it, but they feel there's some type of insecurity and instability with this person. This could be why they haven't made a move. Whether it's someone new who has a crush on you or someone from the past, there is someone who is like envisioning something with you, but they don't have the confidence to go for it. They could be a Taurus for some of you. A lot of you have found out the truth about something recently or some truth has been revealed or you've been honest with yourself about love love situations or something because i see you rebuilding wanting to rebuild i feel like it's you wanting to rebuild yourself like i'm here and reinvent some of you may be going through one of those transformations it could be physical transformation but um some of you are, some of you don't know what energy this person is in because obviously they haven't made a move and so you're kind of on your own page like doing your own thing some of you there isn't no communication between you and someone here hmm this person not only do they not have the confidence to come forward or fear you know there could be fear surrounding them coming forward but they also feel like you are a lot to deal with maybe they can't handle the intensity i, I just saw 444 four, four on the clock you got so many synchronicities usually i only see um two 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 um but this person they feel like it's a lot to deal with even some of you could feel like 
going back like some of you may think about working things out with this person and feel like okay that that would be a hassle it would be so much work to work things out with that particular person um it would be so much to talk about their next move towards you this person's stuck on the past and they want to repeat a cycle with you i don't see where they where they make a move but it could be actually them who keeps looking in the rearview mirror or both of you the six of cups in reverse being stuck in the past so it seems like the reason why they want to come forward and make and have a do-over here is because they can't stop looking in the past near future energy some of you might some of you might reconcile with somebody we got the devil here could be a capricorn we got there's cancer energy here capricorn and fire energy some of you may um reconnect i'm getting the message as well for some of you that something causes this person to be in their feelings about you and make the move I don't know if they have like a shift or some kind of spiritual awakening as you see here but something kind of triggers them emotionally making them want to talk to you let me look at the main spread i can't i can't there's something hidden in this message <laughs> okay what's going on with scorpio what is coming up for Scorpio when it comes to love? King of Cups. Somebody is in love with you, Scorpio. Someone is in love with you. But I just feel like this person is someone who doesn't communicate that at all. They don't communicate that at all. What's coming up for Scorpio in love? be dealing with the Aries, some of you. You see this person? I can't deal. I cannot deal with this person already. Six of Cups in reverse again as the overall energy. is something to do with the past here. You got the past and new love staring you in your face. I feel like this is the past person showing up here because their feelings towards you is the Queen of Swords. This person is holding back how they feel. They're trying to think logically and they're trying to protect their heart. They see you as a devil in reverse. This person may feel like you used to be toxic or you used to play games, but now you don't or you're healing. Or that whatever was bad in the relationship in the past, they feel like it won't be the same they feel like it won't be bad anymore if, if you guys try again. Like they kind of have this new hope for this relationship. Um, there's Cancer Energy, Capricorn, Capricorn keeps showing up. Cancer, Capricorn, Aries. The outcome is a five of wands. You're going to be coming out of conflicts with this person. You're going to be coming out of um, whatever beef you guys had falling out i'm hearing for some of you like you had a falling out but you are in this stuck energy you're in the eight of swords energy you have your emotions under control or you will with this emperor being your feelings definitely in control of your emotional self here like this person doesn't tempt you but you do think about them there's this mutual energy of wanting to move forward, but both of you being guarded. So this is definitely you and the person you have history with. What's blocking is the Nine of Cups. Why would the Nine of Cups be blocking your situation? Why is the Nine of Cups blocking this connection for Scorpio? Why is the Nine of Cups blocking? There's been some unfair fairness and the tower in reverse again and the emperor this 
Scorpio, you are, you have your happiness. Like, if you're not happy yet, you're going to be really happy about something. Some kind of wish is being fulfilled. And that may block this person because I see you thinking, okay, this person did me wrong in the past. I'm rebuilding myself. I can't just let them back in. Because you have so much control now. You got the Emperor energy twice. You're kind of doubting the situation. You kind of feel like, okay, why would I let this person back in? After all the work I've done and I'm finally happy and finally have everything I want. Some of you, the message I'm getting is that you meet someone new and they are a wish fulfillment for you. They're amazing. But then the past comes back. Remember earlier I said that they'll be triggered emotionally by something. It could be that they see you with someone else, which is a message that I keep seeing coming up for Scorpio and Aries and a couple other signs. But... It could very well be that your wish your wish come true is actually a new person that is amazing and then this person from your past who is so guarded but once you they get triggered emotionally maybe they didn't, didn't think that seeing you with someone else would trigger them but it does and then you're like okay I finally have someone why would I go back to you after all the pain or all that history it could be a Libra just heavy Aries energy. They must have some Aries in their chart or Capricorn. Why the Queen of Swords? What's up with this person's feelings? Why is it the Queen of Swords? Mm. Something to do with this person's ego. Mm, this person's ego is going to be kicking. I see them having the same expression. If I can pick up the card. I see them having the same expression. Um seeing you with someone or seeing something that triggers them emotionally it's like their ego is hurt but this person is trying to keep a straight face when when they feel when they see you with someone or see you kind of not checking for them anymore they become guarded and they kind of front as if their ego isn't bruised but it is I feel like they're really trying to avoid reacting to it emotionally, but that Queen of Cups that came out in reverse lets me know that it does trigger them emotionally. Why the Hierophant? Queen of Swords again. <laughs> the Star. Some of you may have a. This new. You and this new love may be the type who like post each other because there's some kind of like star energy or it's been celebrated. It's kind of in this person's face this person from the past so it could be that you guys put yourselves out there in this new connection why the devil in reverse strength this person sees you this person from your past who's been through whatever with you whether it's been a lot or a little bit they see you as strong, like with the devil in reverse, they see you as healing, um, maturing, becoming stronger and giving love a try again with the page of cups. I feel like they haven't been able to do that. And they're kind of just sitting there, like I said, with this expression, kind of just observing you. Like, how were you able to pick yourself back up and, you know, love again? Why the Eight of Swords? Yeah, some of you feel stuck because you don't know how, you don't know who to trust. This Magician in Reverse and the Page of Swords in Reverse is telling me that you've dealt with a lot of narcissistic types who front, pretend to be something in the beginning, and then rip the mask off and turns out to be not who they said they were, and all the lies and deceit, deceit deceiving that you've dealt with that's what that's what has you in the eight of swords so some of you when this new love comes in you're going to be thinking about all the fakes that you dealt with in the past and you're going to kind of be stuck in your head a little bit like is this another fake like is this another mask why the page of wands yeah you're seeing this person what is going on here? Three of Swords. 
over here what is happening here you're seeing this person running back to you this is future tense okay some of you it could be happening right now could have happened already but you're seeing you're going to be seeing this person running back to you seven of swords in reverse with the communication all of a sudden remember the page of ones was in reverse earlier now it's upright so you're seeing this sudden communication come in and you got this soul, this soulmate card this two of cups with twin flame so tell me scorpio which one of these are you seeing as the two of cups is it the ex are you looking in the rearview mirror or is it the new love that you're seeing because i see that you see somebody running back to you so i don't know if you're still seeing this ex as your soulmate but we do have this three of ones here letting me know that this could become a triangle between you and your two options and i feel when the when i saw this the three of cups i felt like this is coming from them this energy like they're heartbroken low-key but this person will never never let you catch them slipping emotionally never show a tear never you know this is gonna be their expression the whole time just acting like they're all cool and collected why the five of wands in reverse okay hmm so again scorpio we got the emperor some of you could be dealing like your ex could be a soldier or a, a popo or someone like this emperor keeps coming up and it can speak about that type of line of work so, so some of you would yeah not all of you but there is this energy though of this emperor like somebody feels like i'm getting a little side message here that your new person could be younger than this person from your past so they may feel like okay that's just a young person I'm grown, like what are you doing with that young, younger person? But anyways, your outcome is clear. It's clear to me that you're coming out of conflict with someone from the past, someone who you've had this unfortunate situation with, someone things ended with, someone who communication came to a halt with. Hmm. I haven't even gotten to your oracle cards yet. What's going on with Scorpio when it comes to love? There's Leo energy here too, by the way. Leo, Pisces, a lot of Aries. Libra and a lot of Capricorn. And Taurus and Aquarius. So we have let your friends help you. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Reconciliation, someone from your past has returned to your life. I told you, they are going to be triggered by something here. We have released your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. A lot of you are going to have the choice between the past and the, and the new love because it's about to be a triangle. I, I, I'm not sure, but I think this came up in your last read. This triangle. What do we have for Scorpio? unfinished business i'm telling you this person they see you with someone else and they're gonna feel like they just didn't expect to feel some type of way they thought they could move on they were done all of a sudden they feel like their place is being taken and it's like this authority energy because this emperor keeps coming out like this person feels like this is my position like this is where like they feel like they rule and reign over here. That's just how they feel. We have redacted. This is about hidden information. So this person hiding how they feel, as you can see. Separation and communication. Scorpio, you are going to hear from someone who you haven't heard from in a while. What's coming up for Scorpio in love? Children, wallflower, childlike, innocent, fun. I feel like you're going to be dating someone younger. Either that or you have kids with this ex and they may use it as an excuse to get closer to you again. Or you could have kids with this new person soon. This person may be shy, this new person. 
but this can also be the ex it does give me that same energy of this queen of swords where they just kind of hold back they have this you see this facial expression like they're gonna act so unbothered but you're gonna be able to read through that work in reverse I'm getting that you guys don't feel like you need to put in any work towards this ex. You feel like you've done enough. But also some of you could... Um, what am I getting from this workout? Okay. We got passion, chemistry, passionate feelings. You and this new person could be quite passionate. You could be quite out there in public with your passions. People might get triggered. Why is this work card here in reverse? Why work in reverse? You're going to be quite busy or because it's in reverse. It's like some of you, maybe you usually focus heavily on work, but you might get caught up in this new relationship. It might be very passionate, very Scorpio-like. You're probably going to love the passion. So it might distract you a little bit from work. I see somebody at work but smiling at their phone so you're going to be smiling at your phone <laughs> with this person because i feel like they just have that passion that scorpio loves because i'm really i'm not just drawn to the card i'm drawn to the picture like you can it's gonna be real close but that's you know what that's why you got this nine of cups because this really is your wish fulfillment like this person is really going to make you feel happy and like finally you found someone as passionate as you and you're going to be like when this ex comes back you're going to be like well why would i talk to you again after all of that when i finally have someone perfect but you know some of you like i said I don't know who you feel, who you see as the two of cups. Because for those of you who, see, who still see the ex of, as the two of cups, you're going to have a hard time deciding between the ex and the new love. This is for those of you who still see the ex as a soulmate. Not all of you. So, that is what I'm predicting for you, Scorpio. Um, that's what I'm seeing. So I hope this was helpful. Again, we have a lot of Capricorn and hella Aries, 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 Aries energy. We got Leo, Libra, um, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Taurus, and Cancer, and more Sagittarius. Okay, so feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is coming up for you in love. Thank you, guys. So much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.